Hello. <laughs> I'm doing a very quick check-in. It looks like it may be shaky because I'm using a selfie stick. Um, I just record these on my phone, you know, I don't do anything fancy, no special cameras or anything. Um, so, but I've decided to use a selfie stick today. I don't even know where the camera is. Am I looking? Anyway, um, so yeah, it looks to me like it could be a little bit wobbly. I'm trying to keep a steady hand. Excuse the state of my face. Like a lot of us, I think that during this lockdown period, which has been almost a year long now, I mean, we've had, what, about three lockdowns and uh, so many times we've been told we can't believe we can't do anything. And during that time, I've kind of got used to not wearing any makeup. When you're not really going anywhere, you don't bother putting makeup on your face. And I used to be very much like, I'm not gonna make a video unless I've put makeup on. And now I've thought, I'll blow that. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, who cares anymore the trouble is it was probably stopping me making videos was thinking well actually i look a bit of a mess um so i won't bother making a video but my husband's out today he's had to go and have a meeting with someone which is uh, it's a telephone meeting to be on to be fair with you so although we're in lockdown it is a telephone meeting but he's had to go to work they're ringing him at work goodness knows why i don't know so he's out and so i thought i'm perhaps free to sit and talk to my phone and uh, without him thinking i'm some sort of nutter so i basically just wanted to check in and share a small tip with you um my new favorite youtuber is a lady called frugal joe if you haven't discovered her yet go and have a look for her um i'd love if you would if you like her stick a little comment in one of her um on one of her videos saying that i sent you because i'd love to connect with her she's just lovely um her latest tip which was not latest quite a while ago but the latest tip i've taken from her that i'm using is making my own spreadable butter um, now to you, this might be a no brainer. It might be something that you'd heard of and you were doing. And I just think, how did I not know that? And how had I never thought of that? It's just so genius. Basically at the moment, it's quite cold. Even with the heating on in the house, the butter, we buy it in a block like this and it stays hard. And you know, it's really hard to spread it. And sometimes it just ruins your bread, trying to spread butter that's hard. And uh, we changed to butter like this that comes in these paper packages when we wanted to go zero waste. Uh, because we didn't want to have the plastic tubs that come with your spreadable butter. Um, anyway, I discovered on her channel, I was just watching, and I saw that she, what she does is she mixes her butter with a, uh, a mixer. I use a hand mixer, I've just washed it. Um, I've just done it. I should have done a video, but uh, basically these are the beaters for my hand mixer. So one of those, it's got two of these beaters in. Pop it in a bowl, blend it up, preferably at room temperature, but of course at the moment it's so cold that room temperature is still quite hard for the butter. Beat it up and then slowly add just under a cup of oil. I mean, I didn't measure my oil, I just eyeballed it and just guessed. And you slowly add your oil and she recommended um, sunflower oil, which is what I used. And I think that's because the flavor of it is very mild. If you use like an olive oil that some people prefer, it's a much stronger flavor. Basically what happens is you end up with spreadable butter and it doubles the amount of butter you've got as well. So I find that to be a fabulous tip because at the moment, with the coronavirus going on, we are being very frugal. Like so many people, we've had to be very frugal and that can be very difficult when you're on a zero waste journey because you can look at something like a pat of butter and then you can look at a plastic tub of spreadable butter and you can think, but that's so much cheaper. I'm tempted to go for it, but then I'm ending up with the plastic. We're kind of going backwards on our zero waste journey. So I just think this is amazing because it makes it as cheap as your plastic tub of butter, but it's in a <laughs> it's it's in a glass jar. Okay, it's got a plastic lid, but it's in a glass jar, so it's not in plastic. Because as you know, I find plastic toxic anyway. Apart from being toxic for the planet, I think it's toxic for us. I think um, chemicals come off of it onto your food, so you don't want to be storing food in it. Um, so that was a brilliant tip. So I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to let you know that I'm still alive and I'm okay and I still haven't had the coronavirus and everything's good. And I love Frugal Joe and I think you will too because I think the things you like about my channel, I'm kind of guessing there the fact that um, it's just like really raw. There's no fancy camera, there's no editing, there's no fanciness. I'm just me being me. She's a bit like that. She's a bit better than me. She does do a bit of editing and her, her videos are probably thought about a lot more than mine. I just tend to switch on the camera and talk to it. Um, but I think you will love her. She's such a lovely lady. She lives in the UK, but she's American. And just I just really like her. And her, like I say, her channel has gone crazy. She probably doesn't need me to recommend her to you, but I would still love her channel to get bigger and bigger. 
So do go and check her out um, and tell her that I sent you and thank you for watching. And also the other thing I wanted to tell you was the reason I decided to make this video, although the content is very sparse, you know, there's not really much to learn from this video, was because I went back and looked at my, old, my last video, which was a few months ago, and it had was the first video in several months, you know, it's been such a long time. And, you know, I'm always a bit unsure about making videos because I just can't think what to tell you. I can't think of anything new and I don't want to tend to do. So, for example, one of the things I'd perhaps quite like to do is things I no longer buy. But it's been done hundreds and hundreds of times by so many people. If you're minimalist, you know, if you're frugal, whatever, you make one of these videos saying things I no longer buy. But I quite fancy doing one of those, so I might do. But anyway, my point was... That video that I made, I went back and I had a look at the comments and they were all so lovely and they 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 inspired me to make another video because they were just really nice comments just saying that they were pleased to see me back and that they enjoyed my videos and uh, it's really lovely to read things like that because, let's be fair, this coronavirus has gone on so long now that I think we all feel a bit down and depressed. So reading those lovely comments lifts the mood as